welcome back to another of your new video. In today's series, we'll be talking about trimmer capacitors. Trimmer capacitors is slightly different than normal variable capacitor. As trimmer capacitor, you set it with a tool or adjust it with a tool. But once you adjust, you just leave it there. Whereas for variable capacitor, you will change it as often as you like, depending on which application you use it for. Trimmer capacitor generally is used in a tuned circuit, for example, for L match or a T match, it can also be used for. But generally, with a standard tuning circuit, tuning circuit is useful because for inductors, usually with a low Henry ratings, it's like micro or nano Henry's. Once you make it to a certain size, with coil and a certain diameter, but unfortunately you cannot get to the exact Henry's, as well as if you use standardized ceramic capacitors, sometimes you cannot get the exact value which you need it for, as well as because due to the construction and parasitic capacitance between the copper clad board, and you may have an insulation area, copper at bottom, and here is your clad at the top. So this time you can also create something called parasitic capacitance, which you might also need to take into account into designing any RF circuitries. So here we got three types of different type of variable capacitor. We got a polymer style, a plastic encased in ceramic style, a normal ceramic variable, and a micro trimmer. So for the power ratings, the plastic one generally has the lowest power rating for RF powers, as well as for now the ceramic. Ceramic can handle up to a certain amount, but the dielectric uh, loss of ceramic is much higher than plastic polymers. Plastic polymers, therefore, this type of capacity can handle up to about like 25 watts without being burning out, depending on the current and voltage ratings which you have to look it up yourself on your design specification. Finally, which comes to MICA. MICA has the best dielectric for like lowest dielectric loss as well as really high voltage ratings because MICA is a type of glassy mineral that existed naturally in under the earth. This type of material comes in sheets, which I can show you here really really thin sheets look like normal plastic polymer but it's slightly different and it's quite brittle as well but this type of sheets when cl climbed with metals which you clamp it into metals it creates capacitor plates which offers excellent tuning with really low dielectric loss this makes the quality factor of the capacitor really high as well so to test one property of the trimmer capacitor is that you will use something called a capacitance tester or a LCR meter. So here we've got the standard capacitor. We can test for this one for the plate overlaps. Generally, you will change the settings to capacitance and here we'll show you the quality factor. Here for the frequency, you can change it to maximum. Here, when the plates are completely overlapped, you get about 105 picofarad. But once you start to make the plates less overlapping each other, you can see the drop in capacitance. This is because there's less area underneath the plates, whereas follow the dielectric capacitor equations, which the less area you get, the less capacitance you get. Capacitor follow this equation here. C equals epsilon naught, epsilon R for the certain material, area of the plate over the dielectric distance. So the closer you get the plates to each other, or the larger you make the areas, the higher the capacitance will be. If you increase the plate's distance, 
Basically, d get larger, capacitance value decrease. If you make d value the distance of plate separation smaller, you get with more capacitance, which happening with the case of mica. Mica generally at the back has a screw, bra brass screw, which basically you can tighten the capacitor plate by generally adjusting the screw knob. If you make it completely loose, you can see quite clearly that the plate opens up with each other. In this case, the plate is less, over, uh, less overlapped, the distance is much larger, and there's also air inside. Air have a like, much less epsilon R than micro. So therefore, the larger the epsilon R, also the higher the capacitor will be. The variable or trimmer capacitors you have to see. One side of the plate generally is connected to the shaft. So therefore, when you're designing any RF tuning circuitries, you might considering making the live side to go to an RF ground which generally you will see such a circuit a bit like tuning network. And this goes to your any active device. Here you have the VCC, but you can see here we've got something called RF filtering containing a capacitor and a resistor as well. Capacitor basically forms a short RF ground. So therefore any leakage of RF will be shorted to the ground. So therefore you generally want to make the shaft connect to this node here. So anytime you put anything metal, especially like metal screwdrivers, you don't introduce additional capacitance. Like if you use a metal for tuning a trimmer capacitor, basically the metal portion will become live and will increase the capacitance value of the trimmer. Which, which makes some like trimming much difficult to do than if you use a ceramic. Ceramic screwdriver basically is an insulator, therefore the charge cannot flow on it. Capacitance value generally does not increase using a ceramic. And that's it for this video. Hope you like it.